All right, guys and gals, we are back with part three. I'm going to take this body off and take the original off, and we'll see what the difference is here underneath. I mean, I already can see outside, like I said, this is way bigger than over here, obviously. I don't see too much differences in the front. You can't really tell on this one. This is, this is all damaged. It's it's. I had a friend play with it, and he took it right into a sign. Anyways, no worries. We'll fix that. We'll fix that after the folks. Oh, another thing I noticed while off camera is look how big and different this is. The body is right next to it, pretty much. Look how this is. There's a big difference here versus the over here. Look how much I have to push that truck body in to get to those side skirts. There's a good. That's a good inch from my knuckle to my fingertip. Over here, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I'm, I'm barely half a fingertip over here versus the whole the first knuckle. Like I said, the front end is different compared to this front end over here. This one has been torn through hell. Look at this big old fucking. Look at those. Look at those divots. Look, I've even worn a hole through it. That's the body mountain hole. Worn a hole from it from right here. That body stand. And then right here is where that center body mount. Right here. There you go. That's what saves these truck bodies more than ever. I didn't mean to do that. I was hoping it would land straight. There we go. Look at that big ass nasty gap. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that kind of hit on a truck body and then this thing still survive. Let's take this one off. Got the same hood pins. Pretty nice. Mm. We're not going to toss this one. We're going to gently set this one off to the side. Oh, let's see if anything's different. Oh, it's all black underneath. Well, it's black on black on black. Got some nice little matte and shiny parts on it. Just gently set that. Okay, it fell over. No worries. All right, what do we got on here? Whoa. I can already tell. This fan is bigger than this fan. See how the fan over here, you can still see the motor on both ends of this fan. I mean, you can start seeing the motor over here. This is a cooling plate, so that's different, and this is way bigger. I can already, I can already tell that's a way bigger pinion. Trying to look for some subtle differences and everything. The ESC is way bigger. That's for sure. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a capacitor. There's a small capacitor on the original one right here. And there's a, another one right here. On this one. This one's got an antenna. Mine didn't come with an antenna. I 
There's a bad, this is a bit, this is a bit thicker too as well. There's a bad 7075 aluminum chassis plate. There's an EXB symbol. All in all, it looks the same, except a lot of things are just beefier. I'm trying to compare it to the other one. Looks like the shocks have big, uh, the springs on the shocks. These are more coiled. There's more, there's more spring rings here compared to the original. See how these are more spaced out. Yeah, their knuckles look a little bit beefier as well versus the originals. Oh, there's something else I just noticed on my original. Looks like I lost a pinion gear on this one again. It's still a stock spear spur on this one, but I've upgraded the 21 tooth pinion, but it keeps falling off. Like I said, I will not be using the new tires that came with this, the new bigger tires. I'm gonna, I'm gonna still continue. I'm gonna use these. I'm gonna use these magmas on here because this thing has so much power and torque. I mean, even the, this one had it has so much power and torque. Like I can do standing back jumps. I can just do a flip, just standing still, just throttle the trigger, and that thing will just flip over. Especially if you take the wheelie bar and wing off. I can sit there and just do endless flips, like flip, 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 flip. And this one's supposed to have 10% more torque in that motor right there. That's 1100 kV motor versus, oh, God, I can't remember the kV on this one. I want to say, I want to say, oh, I can't remember. I want to say 1250, maybe it's higher. I don't know. This motor is definitely bigger. I showed, uh, there was a picture on the back of the, on the box that shows the motor size. Oh, right here it is. Shows the new steering servos too. Look at how the bigger, the bottom one is bigger than the topper one for the steering servo. Like I said, the motors don't really look that different, but It's supposed to be a big block motor. So I'm going to throw some my batteries on here. Throw some batteries on here. Throw the tires on here. Uh, well, before I do that, I, I'm going to add some... Uh, I got these lights off of Amazon. And these things are bright. And they have eight different colors. And so many different, like... You can put it on a solid color. You can do a blink set. You can do like a fast blink set or a slope. There's so many different settings with these things. And they're rechargeable. It's pretty nice. They're bright. I'll turn it on. 
So that's a teal color. Well, that's green. There you go. There's your blue. See all the different functions. That's supposed to be a yellow. There's your purple. Yeah, and then you got this function where it's white and red. Fast white and red. Slow white. Oh, this is all the colors. Then you got the white. You got this blinking function for a different color. It, it, this thing is crazy. Best thing I ever bought. I think it's like five bucks for like four of them. I'm going to leave that one on red because I'm going to attach that to red. I'm going to make a blue one so I got little lights on top of the truck so I can see it at night. A lot of times, because it gets kind of dark here at night. And I like playing with these things late at night where there's less traffic and all that stuff. And I can take these things pretty far. I have a few upgrade controllers where I can take these things pretty far. And sometimes you lose the sight of them in the shadows. Especially this one being black. I mean, like, the red didn't help. But this one being black, <laughs> it's going to be even worse. So, thanks for watching all my parts. Uh, I'm going to go have fun. See how this does. I'm not going to take it too hard. <sighs> I'm not going to take it too hard on it. Just so I can get a feel of it. Because I cannot program... I can't program the punch and the braking on it unless I want to do the manual way, the start and set button, because um, my programming card will not work up with this until there's, an, there's until there's an upgrade to the programming card. So we'll see if that happens in the future. Hopefully it does, and I can just do quick fly cha quick fly changes on the program card. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna go have some. I'm gonna go have me some fun. Have a good night, y'all. Thank you.